Hey, Singers from the Hidden Levels here with an achievement walkthrough for Eating Mantis Ghosts of uh, Maple Creek. This is part 7 of 8 parts. This will end the um, main game. Uh, part 8 will consist only of the bonus episode Ghosts of the Past. So, <coughs> as we left uh, part 7, we finished an evidence wall and we we'll just solve the puzzle and uh, now I'll go back to the backyard area and we're going towards the farm and there's a hidden object puzzle on the right side solve that uh, just as a reminder if you've been following you know uh, you know what's going on but uh, just in case you jumped into this uh, part 7 for some help or something um, I am playing this uh, normal difficulty. If you want to avoid ha having to do two playthroughs, I recommend playing on expert from the beginning, as there is an achievement for beating the game on normal and beating the game on expert. And uh, beating the game on expert gives you both. Uh, I just started this on normal without knowing that there was such an achievement, but. Uh, I later found out that just playing on expert gives you both so recommend you play on the expert difficulty with this uh, walkthrough so uh, you have some idea where to go and what to do uh, if you're ever stuck uh, as for the hidden object puzzles uh, <coughs> they are random as far as what items you have your task to find so you can't follow my guide exactly but for everything else where to go uh the mini games they're all the same whether it's normal or the expert difficulty so um just do what i do on the screen uh, and do your best with the hidden object stuff uh, you are penalized slightly on the expert difficulty for making too many mistakes this doesn't really matter um you know you're on you're only your only penalty is that you can't click on anything for like five seconds uh, and then you're free to click on any anything so it just makes it a little bit more time consuming uh, if anything so feel free just don't use the hint button or the skip button on the uh, hidden, ob hidden object and the mini game since there is an achievement tied to not using skip Skip on the mini games and not using hints on the hidden object scenes. Alright, with that out of the way, I've done a bunch of stuff. I solved the uh, mini game and I solved the. Um, I walked around a bit and doing some hidden object scene stuff. If you've been watching my uh, playthrough, there's really not too much to talk about. You just select what I select and use the items go where I go and it's pretty straightforward a lot of the stuff that you have to do makes sense like right now I'm uh, jacking up the car with a car jack and then um, using uh, no, what, what, what's that thing called the tire iron to get the nuts bolts out of the tire and getting the tire out basically replacing this tire <coughs> uh, exactly what you do in real life so it's pretty straightforward another hidden object puzzle here After every uh, hidden object puzzle, you are given an item that you found during the scene. So now we're going to re uh, repair this chainsaw. We need this chainsaw because I don't know if you remember it, but uh, you saw it a while back. There is a um, log blocking the bridge, blocking a bridge. and. 
because of that log we can't cross it using the car we can walk over it but uh, a car can't go because the log is blocking the bridge uh, with this chainsaw and this car repaired we can go over the bridge with this car uh, by cutting that log with the chainsaw so we're going to repair this and fuel up the car uh, it's also missing uh, so missing gas so we're going to fill this up there we go close it done and we will fix that tire we'll replace that tire as well I'm going to try to start the car oh it doesn't start I mean it can start but it doesn't have a tire so obviously it can't go I'm going to jack up the uh, car again uh, put the tire in put the bolts in and use the tire iron to tighten the bolts and then remove the jack that's it done it's replaced that part of the puzzle is solved and uh, you can see that next thing glimmering uh, on expert you don't have that glimmer so just be aware of that uh, you can't go by using that glimmer as I said you have to cut this log using the chainsaw <coughs> kind of amazing that cutting it I made it disappear now talk to these guys gives you something in return now uh, they left uh, using the car that you provided to them and your car is like this right now so we'll go to this uh, the tree area uh, to the chapel or is it the church I don't remember church or the chapel I think it's a chapel yeah uh, go there and do this hidden object scene find some one of the items and finally I find it I still can't find another item there we go and some of the items are really well hidden uh, while some are like right out in the obvious open believe I have to do another hidden object scene for that last uh, item uh, fifth, 5 out of 5 so here we go yeah, I'm having a little bit more luck with this one finding things a lot quicker but I'm missing a couple items still the puzzles don't necessarily get harder as uh, we move on but uh, maybe I was a little tired or something that I couldn't find some of these quickly so I'm having a little bit of trouble clicking everywhere combing it and pressing A you can't do this on expert because of the pen penalty uh, it'll take way too long but on normal this is fine 
So that was the last hidden object puzzle and I've done it without uh, using any hints. Uh, so I just got that achievement. So now it's just a matter of solving all the puzzles and uh, and finishing things up and solving this uh, mystery once and for all. So go towards this uh, the deeper woods and into this house, the boat house cross and we'll solve this puzzle that we uncovered by uh, scraping the algae off the rock so put that on there and click the uh, the symbols in the order that I click seven four nine one eight six seven three yep. and that uh, opens that area up and go back back a little bit more All the way out to the uh, the boarding house area. Go into the boarding house and upstairs. <coughs> and we have to go to the uh, the the area on the left side uh, where we the where there was a ladder. We're gonna fix this ladder. Or rather, cut it. Sorry, we're gonna take the we're gonna cut it and take it. It's uh, on the floor now, so we're gonna need that in a little bit. Now go back. You could have gotten that uh, ladder if you felt like at any time once you had the item that's required, but. Um, doesn't really matter when you do get it, you do have to backtrack anyway at some point. Go towards the lake area. Oh, is that the lake area? No, it's the. Yeah, that's right, it's the lake area. And go to the pool. We're gonna cross it again. Uh, we're gonna need the ladder. Uh, the hole opened up, but there was no ladder or anything, so that's why we need that. So we're gonna use the ladder now and climb down okay here use that item on the match to light this place up the priest is here So he took a fall and into there and he survived uh, down there somehow or maybe he's dead uh, it's kind of hard to tell looks like he's plenty alive but somehow his uh, evil powers or whatever <laughs> activated all the stuff that's been going on in the town So that kind of explains some things. Now we gotta go in there. Yeah, we're gonna destroy this thing. Yeah, pick up, pick up that uh, chain by using the um, axe on it okay, 
go back in somehow that Hamilton guy is here I think that guy's name is Hamilton so talk to him and then use the chain uh, you can see the thing glimmering up there use the chain there and that's really it uh, pull the chain and uh, it destroys the um, uh, the sacrificial portal whatever it's called um, yeah and that's it uh, you just saw me uh, get the achievement for finishing the game on normal uh, if you played on expert from the beginning you should be getting uh, complete the game on expert as well as completing the game on normal right here where I do uh, so enjoy the ending thank you for watching this was part 7 of part 8 there is one more episode to go which is a bonus episode that was added for the uh, console edition of the game so um yeah don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh, my name is sangrius from the hidden levels and i'll be back with the final part of this walkthrough very soon